this lecture, we will continue with project work products. Here, I would like to discuss three more points. Epic, which is a business-oriented work product, then creating automated unit test, which is a work product of development activity, and work products in case of the high-risk project. Let's discuss each of them. First, let's see, what is Epic? Epic is a larger collection of related features or a collection of sub-features that make up a single complex feature, may be referred to as epics. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Suppose this is an epic which includes user stories for different development teams. Let's say one user story can describe what is required at the API level, middleware, while another story describes what is needed at the UI level, application. These collections may be developed over a series of sprints. User Story 1 can be implemented in one sprint, and User Story 2 and 3 can be implemented in another sprint. The important point is, each epic and its user stories should have associated acceptance criteria. This is all about epic. It is a larger collection of related features, or a collection of sub-features that make up a single complex feature. Let's now see how unit tests are created during development activity. Typical developer work products on Agile projects include code. Agile developers also often create automated unit tests. These tests might be created after the development of code. There are different approaches to perform unit testing. We will explain one here that is test-driven development. Here, first the test session is created, then the code is implemented. Once code implementation is done, the corresponding test session is executed to test the implemented code. If the test fails, then we again go back to the code implementation stage and correct the code and then again execute the test. This process is repeated until the test passes. Once the test is passed, we create a test session for the next user story. This approach is called a test-driven approach because we first write the test case and then implement the code. This is how test-driven development works. Just to summarize the points in this approach, developers create tests incrementally before each portion of the code is written. This is done to provide a way of verifying. Once that portion of code is written, we check whether it works as expected or not. The last point is work products on high-risk projects. In some Agile implementations, especially regulated, safety-critical, distributed, or highly complex projects and products, further formalization of work products is required. For example, some teams transform user stories and acceptance criteria into more formal requirements specifications. How to do formalization is not part of the syllabus. You just need to remember more formalization of work products is required in case of safety-critical projects. With this, the work product topic ends.